In the lush green tapestry of the Samoan Islands, the blue moon butterfly flutters gracefully from flower to flower. But this seemingly ordinary creature harbors a dark secret within its wings. In 2001, biologists on the islands noticed something peculiar about the butterfly's population. Nearly all of them were female. Males made up a mere 1% of the population. From a large clutch of eggs, half would perish. Why they died seemed a mystery, until a closer look discovered that they were victims of a stealthy assassin, a parasitic bacterium known as Wolbachia. Wolbachia is a common bacteria found in up to 60% of all insects. They live mostly in the cells of their hosts, and they pass from one generation to the next by stowing away in the eggs. Sperm, however, are too small to house them, so should they end up in a male, their parasitic journey reaches a dead end. When the male host dies, the parasite soon follows. Thus, Females are their golden ticket for survival. And to secure their future, Wolbachia has evolved a sinister strategy, disrupting the natural order by selectively eliminating males. They can execute this with ruthless efficiency, killing their victims long before they're even born by ceasing their development. And the surviving females make the best of this predicament, feeding on the remains of their dead brothers. But male killing is not the only weapon in Wolbachia's arsenal. Certain strains can also induce asexual reproduction in their hosts, where unfertilized eggs develop into female clones without the need for sperm. Other strains use another equally sly tactic. By manipulating their host's hormones with surgical precision, the parasite can force males to undergo a sex change, ensuring their own continued dominance. Wolbachia exerts a profound impact on its hosts, one that stretches even beyond the grisly act of male killing. The host population seems condemned to shrink, as each brood of eggs sees its potential halved. The intricate ballet of courtship, once balanced and predictable, now shifts into a more competitive struggle. Females outnumber their partners, sometimes by as much as 100 to 1. And the relentless pursuit of mating takes a heavy toll on the remaining males, leaving them drained their sperm production dropping by nearly half with each dance. But, remarkably, this does not go unnoticed. Females can sense the smaller sperm packages and thus are driven to seek more mates. Under normal circumstances, they would simply mate once, but when males are sparse, they will engage in courtship for up to five times. This surge in promiscuity may allow populations infected with Wolbachia to remain somewhat sustainable. Still, a drought of males is hardly conducive to a species' long-term survival. It threatens the genetic diversity of a population. But nature always teeters back toward balance. In 2005, Biologists discovered an increasing number of male blue moon butterflies on the Samoan Islands, and a year later, they made a remarkable comeback. Within just 10 generations, males had gone from virtual non-existence to equality. It seemed at some point, 
a suppressor gene was introduced into the population, perhaps as a mutation from a neighbouring island, and so resistance to Wolbachia spread like genetic wildfire in one of the swiftest examples of evolutionary adaptation ever observed. But even in this victory, Wolbachia never truly loses. In the natural world, when a host evolves resistance, the parasite's numbers typically dwindle. However, in these resistant butterflies, Wolbachia remained as present as ever. This persistence is due to its final cunning strategy, the last weapon in its arsenal. When the males survive, Wolbachia alters their sperm in such a way that successful fertilization only occurs if the egg is infected with the bacterium. This adaptation gives infected females a distinct advantage. They can freely choose their partners from both infected and uninfected males, unconstrained by choice, whereas uninfected females can only mate with uninfected males. With each passing generation, Wolbachia remains deeply entrenched within the host population. Despite its cunning resolve, Wolbachia has emerged as our own unexpected ally. Its unique reproductive manipulation has the potential to transform our battle against mosquito-borne diseases, such as dengue, zika and chikungunya, by curbing the pest's numbers but its influence extends even further. When introduced into mosquito populations, Wolbachia can also disrupt development of the pathogens that the insects so often harbor, thus reducing disease transmission to humans. In fact, countries such as Thailand, Mexico, and Australia have already used the biological agent with significant success. In this grand theatre of nature, the evolutionary arms race between Wolbachia and its hosts unfolds like a perpetual dance. As one devises new strategies, the other evolves in response. This delicate performance, driven by adaptation and survival, is a testament to the ingenuity of even nature's smallest organisms.